This dog spits is monopolizing a puddle. A smaller dog wants to drink, too, that makes the dog angry. All other dogs scare of him, but Buck has an idea. It circles around Spitz, trying to smash the ice. Dig a larger hole, so the dogs will have water to drink. This makes Spitz even more angry. At night, the owner gives them fish for dinner. But when Spitz finishes eating, he also pulls the golden dog's fish. Buck just arrives, so he does not dare to show up for the golden dog. But Buck gives his fish to it. The dogs are all dumbfounded, this newcomer is special. Not long before that, Buck is a rebellious dog. No one can teach him. But one night, he was taken away by a bad man and sold to Daya as a sled dog. Buck has a muscular body, he is also extremely intelligent. He is becoming a crucial member in his team. That day the whole flock come on a rather thin surface of ice. The mistress who searches the road does not expect the ice surface to crack. Buck hurriedly jumps down and swims to her and lets her cling to him. But he could not find the way out, if he wants to live, he can only break the ice. But the ice is too thick, and after several attempts it is still unsuccessful. The master is about to take it no longer, Buck can only take a bold risk. The mistress is rescued, and Buck, exhausted, is swept away by the water. Francois is worried, stabbing with a knife, the knife is also broken. Using a fist to punch the ice face, it is still unharmed. When Francois is desperate, a stick is brought. It's Buck. Francois is so happy. Through this accident, the mistress also looks at Buck with different eyes. And throw him a chicken leg as a reward. But this scene is seen by the leader Spitz. A mountain cannot have two tigers. So that night when Buck is playing with a rabbit. Spitz suddenly appears, bites the rabbit to death. Buck couldn't help it but. Formally declares war on Spitz. Spitz's ferocious spirit makes Buck have to come back. Less than two moves, Buck is knocked out on the ground. But this time, the dogs soon have a choice. The dogs all growl towards Spitz to protect Buck. Finally, Buck understands that if he doesn't beat Spitz, he can't forever raise his head. At that moment, Buck seems to see his ancestor, a mighty black wolf. Buck's predestination breaks out. His gaze turns strong, his hand poisons. A slap that keeps Spitz out of the way. He wins. The next day Francois could not find Spitz, he only changes another leader. But strangely enough, the dog with rich experience refuses to take the lead. It turns out that they have assumed Buck's leading position. Francois sees that, he gives Buck one chance. The first time he becomes a leader, this is a great opportunity to prove himself. Buck runs as fast as he could, pulling the sled and slid across the snow. But it is at this point that they encounter avalanches. Francois commands the dogs to turn to the left. But the lead dog Buck does not listen to orders, leading the group to the opposite direction. In the chaos, it seems that Buck sees his ancestors show the way for him. At the last minute, the group break into a cave. The truth proves Buck is correct. This is a shortcut, they have successfully passed through the cave, escaping an avalanche. After escaping danger, Francois is extremely excited. Furthermore, thanks to Buck's tough strength, it is the first time in two years that the whole flock have delivered on time. Starting that day, the people of town receive the mail every day on time. Looking people's happiness when reading letters, Buck is happy for them too. But very quickly, Francois receives a letter from the post office. Telegraph will be universal very quickly. Then, no one needs letters. Just like that, Buck leaves another master. Buck and the herd are sold to a gold digger. The thing is, these people aren't quite familiar with slaves. Even if the zippers don't go, they assume they are lazy. Buck is miserable without saying a word, staring blankly at the man walking over. An old man comes to avoid him. It turns out that the sled has been frozen. The old man comes to help pull the snow cart up, and kindly reminds them. The weather is turning warm, the snow is melting, and now is not suitable for going outside. But they don't listen. As a result, because the road is too difficult to walk, Buck and the rest of the group quickly become exhausted and couldn't walk. The man is furious, gives Buck a kick. Then he takes the gun. And now that the old man reappears, he soon realizes that these people are not kind. The kind old man reminds them, the ice is already melting. If they continue going they are going to the death. But they don't listen, deciding to leave the comatose Buck and continue to risk it. Buck is taken home by the old man and is in a coma two days after he regains consciousness. Large ice flows on the river surface, it seems Buck's herd are all in danger. Buck screams away the pitiful cries. Now, he just relies on the old man. But he lost his children so he is always drunk. To prevent him from becoming addicted to alcohol, Buck even takes out the bottle of wine to the outside to dig the hole. The old man goes out to find it, then he sits up on it, he wouldn't come out even the man pushes him. Reluctantly, the old man sitting beside Buck, raises his head to watch the stars. Now he realizes that there are still many things worth keeping in mind in the world. The next day the old man takes out a map, preparing to go to an unknown place. So a man and a dog sitting on a boat set off on the road. They passes the fish, swims across the moon. When they are tired, they stay in a tent. At night, the old men will call Buck into the tent to sleep. They are not owner and slaver. They are old friends. 
That day, the boat enters a swirling body of water. The old man is a bit tense, trying to keep the boat balanced. But Buck is very excited. They make it safely through the whirlpool, but the sharp rock punctures the boat. They must walk. Not long after, they find a place to stop. This is a small abandoned wooden house for people who used to dig gold. After cleaning up the house, the old man leads Buck to the side of the stream to bathe. Suddenly the old man sees something sparkling in the lake. He picks it up, it turns out to be gold. Faced with ferocious bear, what dog will do? The bear growls, then lunges towards Buck. Facing the lord of the jungle, Buck is a bit scared. It panics and runs straight towards the forest, not daring to turn its head. The jungle is a completely new place to Buck. It is just about to leave but a white wolf approaches. Buck is a little scared, this is the first time he meets wolves. He could not help it but greets by his feet but he is neglected. Starting from that day, Buck seems to be robbed of his soul. No matter how the old man pokes it, it does not react. Buck starts his day looking towards the forest. Silently following the wolves, but the wolves still does not pay attention to it. Until that day, while hunting, the wolves have an accident. A male wolf slips into the water. The water is flowing fast, the male wolf winks, being swept down the cliff. Fortunately, it reaches a dry wood. Only a dead way down. The wolves are extremely worried but can only watch. Buck comes. It quickly runs to the brink, then bites down on the dry branches. But the branches are too crunchy. So he carries the whole dry tree, pulling it with all his might, toward the shore. He uses his godly power to save the wolf. And finally B. U.C.K. is recognized by the wolves. Since then Buck mingles with wolves running and jumping in the forest. He learns how to hunt. The wild environment has stimulated its hunting instincts. Gradually birds and the skyfish in the water buck grabs to the old man. Until that day it leads a white wolf home. Finally the old man understands that Buck has found his herd. He is happy for him. But what about his place? The old man throws all the gold he has collected into the river leaving only two. Even he has a lot of gold his son can't be alive. He decides to say goodbye to Buck tomorrow and he will leave this place. But there is no shortage of people dying of money in this world. The previous man has come to the old man's house discovers the map and chases here. Seeing the gold he shoots the old man. Buck suddenly appears. It swoops down from the top of the house stealing the shotgun. The man hurriedly picks up the stick again and begins to threaten. Buck has an obsession with his cane retreating backwards. But very soon he realizes he could not falter anymore. His wildness is completely awakened Buck begins to counterattack. He pushes the man into a sea of flames. But the old man is too badly injured his breathing gradually weakens. Buck never expects the owner to be with him in the shortest time. Is the person who gives him a new life. After the old man dies Buck no longer has any attachment to human life. He leaves everything and goes to the forest. Soon after he becomes the leader of the wolves. Leads the whole pack of wolves around and across the steppe. Later in the herd appears many cubs. They have both the blood of Buck and a wolf. Meeting the bear again Buck no longer falters. Its steadfast gaze moves the bear back step by step. After several times growling the bear runs away in fear. Buck becomes the real lord of the jungle. It is just that every time he passes by the old man's grave, Buck slows down. He also remembers the gentle but rough hand that used to stroke him. Beastity and humanity, civilization and malice are all perfectly harmonious on its body.